welcome back to the channel it is like it here and in today's video i will be going over the new update that came to arc specifically about the dino pithecus as you guys know the lost island just came out today and i decided to do videos on it i will be doing uh, the other creatures that came into the update as well later on but this is the first video i wanted to do and basically today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to tame it where to find it and what to use when taming the dino pithecus i'll also be showcasing the dinosaur as well but before we do start if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe and also like this video it is greatly appreciated and yeah if you're returning back to my videos do make sure like it's very appreciated as well and with all that said let's start so basically in short terms the dinopithecus is a giant monkey this giant monkey to be honest is my favorite one so far in this update but first we'll be taking a look at where you can find it the dinopithecus is actually pretty easy to spot as they are huge monkeys that roam the land and are pretty aggressive when they are in a group the common places i found these creatures is in the castle like is around the castle like building and redwoods if you're looking for these creatures i suggest looking around those parts as it's easier to find them there than anywhere else on the map so moving on to the next thing which is kind of the most important thing in today's video is how to tame them and what you need to tame them um and also two methods i'm gonna be showing you guys on how to tame these guys so as you can see in my inventory i have raw mutton corn which you can also call long grass and exceptional kibble these are the three things that you need to feed this dinopithecus as anything else would not work and these are the only things that you can use i would also bring a weapon whether it's a shotgun or using something else as long as it can damage the dinopithecus there's two main ways you can actually tame these creatures which is different methods in this recording i only show one of them because i'm kind of lazy to do the other one and i found this one more simple for me to be honest but you can do either one and i'm gonna be explaining one of them and just showing the other one as well you can either build a trap and trap them in it or you can climb up a hill that they can't reach you at and the one i'm gonna be showing is the one where i just climb up a hill that they can't reach me at now this is something that you have to be very careful of as well because there could be things behind you that could attack you and i had that happen in one of the failed recordings where a, a terabyte actually knocked me off and killed me so it's very risky but it's also a way you can do it if you don't have the good resources for it and trapping them is a lot easier if you just have like a stone or something like that you could just trap them into a little box i might make a video on that if you guys want me to on how to trap things basically like the dinopithecus and how to tame it like that if you guys want me to but for now i'm just gonna be showing the one one just come up a hill but anyway either way you don't want these things to be able to reach you as the tames may end in a fail these guys are pretty strong and one hit from them could be pretty bad if you don't have a good armor or you don't have good health or something like that you just want to avoid being hit at all because they will be in a team so one hit will take like 10 hits if there's 10 of them in there the dinopithecus has somewhat of a unique taming method but it's also very pretty simple once you're ready you want to shoot the dinopithecus that aren't the leaders since you can only tame the leader for some reason to recognize this leader, you have you have to look for an effect on the Dinopithecus that has a yellow, reddish, orange kind of little effect on its body. And it will be also the highest level of the group if you can get that close and actually see the levels. You want to make sure all the adult Dinopithecus but the leader is dead. If not, you will have no luck taming it as it will say that you need to kill the other ones to scare the leader. Once the Dinopithecus are dead, you can leave the babies. I thought that it had to kill them for some reason, but it seems the, on the only thing that you need to kill are the adults. Um, to scare the leader to make sure you can actually feed him. Once you do that, you want to shoot the, and attack the leader until its health is under 85%. A way you can know that the um, Dinopithecus is under 85% is it will stop attacking and kind of like walk away like a passive tame would. That's when you can approach it, but be very, very careful because I don't know if it's going to go aggressive. Most likely not, it's probably just going to stay passive like it did for me, but you always want to be careful because um, there could be other Dinopithecus around or something like that. Um, but after you do, you want to approach the the um, Dinopithecus and use either three foods that I mentioned in the beginning of this video and you can feed it like a passive tame would be fed basically. So the exceptional kibble is the one that you want to use if you are trying to tame this Dinopithecus as fast as you can as that gives the most percentage and the corn gives the least amount of percentage. The mutton would be higher than the corn so it's kind of like in the middle of both of those. Once you have tamed you have ready you have now a ready Dinopithecus. It doesn't require saddle so you can ride it right after taming kind of like a 
die with and all the other mammals in the game except for like i think the mammoth that doesn't have that where it has to have a saddle um but yeah that's what you basically have to do to tame it and how you should tame it or how you can tame it um there's probably multiple other ways that you can also tame it but those are like the main ones that i found so far that is successful and also very um good to use okay so the dinopithecus has a attack with the um left click and it also has a right click which you can kind of like slam its hands down as you can see in the video i'm doing both of those at the same time right now and then you can also jump as well which is pretty cool and if you use the right click you actually slam down when jumping which is pretty cool um and i just died killing a true don just to show you guys basically um these guys are pretty tough though i mean a high level is pretty good it also does collect poop as you can see i just like picked up poop basically and you can use those as weapons later on in the game um when you want to fight things another really cool thing that they have added with the dinopithecus is if you hit x and you are on the pack leader you can actually summon all the other ones in the group to kill something now you have to have two or more um dinopithecus and you have to actually have at least one other than the one you're riding to actually do this if not you cannot really use this as it will say that you need more dinopithecus in the group um and basically it's kind of like a little summoning for the pack where they have to fight and you don't it's kind of also like the whistling that you can use um with just your character when you can like basically um make them hit a target or something like that and i find it really cool and also very unique for this guy as well another cool thing i found is in the wild i don't think you can do this with the tame creature itself but as you can see in this video recording in the wild there is actually little juveniles um um little dinopithecus that can actually ride on the adults as you can see it's kind of like riding on the back of the dinopithecus and i find that really cool i don't think you can do that in the tame dinopithecus that would be actually pretty cool if you could and they could have like little piggyback rides or something like that um but i have seen it a lot in the wild where they just do that for some reason and whenever you go up close to them then they will kind of dismount so you can't really get up close to them without them seeing you and dismounting from the adult um dinopithecus but yeah that's kind of all i have for you guys in today's video i hope you guys did enjoy and i hope this video did help you comment down below what's your favorite part about this update i will be having other videos about the other creatures later on today or somewhere around that as i still have to edit and everything like that which is also a pain but i will get it done eventually i hope so um and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video um see you bye